Right, we're starting a new project which is for the, we might have to make another uh, tool for the uh, TMC 2020. Uh, so what will virtually happen is, I'll just move the slide a bit. Um, what will happen is on, on either on this side or the other side, doesn't matter, I'll make a little uh, clamp mechanism goes here. So when you clamp it, you can adjust whatever the job is in and out. Uh, so you can actually turn around and face it drill it or whatever so if you've got multiples you just take one out put the other one will be sitting on the clamp and then that's that type here which will have a couple of screws going in then i'm also making one which will fit on the rear two holes of the vice mechanism and you'll be able to use it either on the left or on the right hand side what that'll be actually uh, probably a one inch uh, square uh, alloy and then coming off that will be like a, a spacer which will come up to about here somewhere about halfway through the jaw and then there'll be a, a brass rod coming up and a, a smaller brass which will which will go through and you can actually put it on the end of a job so it won't matter whether you're using it on the left or the right hand side either way it'll still work Good. Just square the ends off a tiny bit. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm making two clamps. So this is the I'm making. Uh, this will be virtually two out of one. And uh, when I faced it, these will actually uh, end up going across the top of the vice. So you can actually have two separators or whatever you want to do with whether it's left or right. What I'll do, I'll just pull it out and I'll blow it up for the uh, grooves in. Just a little touch more on that left hand side there and that, sh that part will be just about ready to uh, be drilled and with a thread put in. Oh, that'll be beautiful. Now I'll just uh, take it out and show you what <laughs> what's supposed to be. Ah, oh, dear, with it is or not is a different matter, but what it's supposed to be. Now what's supposed to happen is I'm going. I'll probably cut those in and make two out of that. Normally should sit on there like so. And then what'll happen is uh, it'll have a, a screw go in from the other side, and then when you put a part into the vice here for example if I've got that I'll get that back onto the parallels I'll just close it up and I'll give you a good demo here so once I've faced one side then I'll just put it back in that'll be clamped or bolted down that'll go into it wherever I want it and then I, that'll be an exact match every time that's one of the clamps, I'll be doing another one. Now what you have to be careful is you don't go too deep, 
otherwise if it starts heading on your parallel you can have problems with it right we're on our next stage what we're going to do now is because if you remember we we've got a step on one side which goes over here then comes down or comes up the top there and then there's just a slight edge and that will sort of stabilize well we need to put well I'm using a couple of uh, 5 mil by 0.8 thread I'm using those uh, near cap screws so what happens is uh, I'm going to drill the holes tap them and then I'll show you how it works from there See what I'll do, that's going right into that uh, keyway that I actually ground out or cut out with, with the end mill. Now we've got both cap heads, they're fitting on the inside which is quite good and I, sh <laughs> um, I shall reveal all, next we're going to the lathe, I'm going to take the three jaw chuck out and put a four jaw in and then, uh, yeah, then we'll uh, actually turn from there to there, we're going to make that round and then you'll see what happens after that. I'll just try and measure this. Sorry about the thing over here. It's a bit hard to mic that up with the camera there. Okay, at the moment uh, we're sitting on about 24, yeah, 24 mils. Now I have to go back down to 16.5. Uh, Alright, that should be uh, pretty well our finished size there now. And uh, what we're going to do, we'll go back over to the mill and uh, drill a couple more holes and uh, do a couple more threads. I'm going to recess that a fraction so as the head will actually sit inside there, so it's flush. And then, uh, anyway, we will show you what happens when we put it together. That'll close up really well. Well, I came across a little predicament. Um, I made up this unit here uh, with a hole there, hole there. It's got slits in it. I've threaded it and everything, but I found that uh, trying to do these up, even with a slit, it's very hard to compress that onto a bar or anything like that so we virtually have to chuck that away now and what we're doing we're making another one of these right there'll be a hole there a hole this way instead of the slit and everything i'm going to just drill a hole through there tap it and the bolt will go directly onto a shaft which will lock it on there that way and that way which will be a hundred percent better so that's virtually what we're doing so, we're just now starting up all over again. 
drilling a few holes and stuff like that and you just uh, just eat crow so to speak and do it again. Alright here we go again. Um, what we've got is <laughs> you can see that's a stuff up right that's not a problem but we're going to use that now what we do we put that on here I'll just push out don't worry about the little parallels out down there they're just throwaways uh, this is the other one that was uh, I made up but didn't quite suit my needs so I'm going to put that one here now what we're going to do is this is one of the stops that I've made up right that's got you can see the two different edges the inside edge here normally goes on the parallel side or on the inside now that's been cut back lower than what this side has because the outside sits here and the other side sits on the inside so what we do we sort of that sits on there can go anywhere then we do these screws up to wherever we want for example that can go there now you have to turn around and use a bit of imagination right so we just snug them up like that so it's not going to move anywhere then if we've got one or two pieces like that and we want the same unit all the time all you do is put that against that and that is a stop and it won't allow that to go any further so if you've got one or more of these oh the device is also tightened up of course so it's not going to move anywhere um, so this way you can put that there here there on the other side of the rail on that side doesn't really matter so you can do either way now the thing is that this way you can have the same drill hole for 10 pieces or the same milling alignment or there or I've also got another one that I've made up which could also go on that side um, or it could go back here and you can work on a twin system of two different items if you wanted to or what you can also do is you can have two different length items so this one could go on this side which might be say this length here for example the other one's only a short piece but you can trim them both at the same time see so you can see the effectiveness of these so that's <laughs> uh, that's part a that's one pair of uh, tools now what we've also done we've made a tool like this now what this does now this can fits on the back of the uh, vice here can either bolt on that side or it can bolt onto this side it doesn't matter now just for convenience sake uh, we'll just turn around and we'll actually put it on the back I'll put it on the back then I'll come back all right now at the moment I'll, I'll put the bar on there and that's sort of it's got two bolts in there and they're sort of snugged up now I've also made another one of these as I said this one I wasn't happy because of slots and uh, it wasn't pulling in correctly to tighten up on the shaft here so what I've done I've made another one up as you can see like so now that one there will come on the back here just snug it up just a fraction if I can get around to it because it's towards the back I should have put it on the other side but look that's fine there's no great biggie now that can go on any angle now what we've got <laughs> we've got a shiny piece of brass here that's it I love the brass with the alloy now that can go in there now what we do then is and we are get, <laughs> we are getting to it then I've got another nice piece of brass on top of that and it's a piece like this and if you notice there's a wavy section here it's it's offset in other words see there right now that goes in here now so what happens is and we are getting to the end <laughs> we're getting there slowly so just don't panic let me have my fun so anyway so what we're doing here is if we've got you know just we just have to arrange to you know you have to adjust everything now if we got a, an item that you're drilling a hole in that can come up this can slide over 
you lock that one up if I can get to lock it up you know it's you know what video cameras are like now as you can see here um, we can come up from the top or we can actually come off the bottom and so and then if we want to depends on how high because that'll go right up another hundred mil above and below this part here whoops we just see because I'll have to move it out a bit more now as you can see I've got the bar which is bolted up it's only snugged up it doesn't have to be dead tight this part here will swivel forwards and backwards you can actually take it off and put it upside down so that bar will be a lot lower this bar here I'll just move that well I have to centralize it you you straighten it all up correctly anyway let's be honest um, now this will go either underneath or it'll go above you know there, there's different angles wherever you want to go just say you want it there and you've got a piece you can turn around then put that on on it and then because that'll be locked up that'll always come back to the same portion so therefore we've got uh, this type of lock that goes from the top and then we've got this one goes here and as I said that will also fit on the other side if you want to be real conscientious you can drill a hole there put a spacer plate and you can put a, an end piece across there so nothing can come off the other side so uh, that's just virtually the two units there and uh, yeah I'll uh, put some documentation stuff at the end of the video there we have uh, two different types of uh, vice stop clamps if you want to call them that you've got these ones right here which will go on the end of the vice as you saw and you've got that assembly like so which is fully adjustable in and out forwards and backwards up and down you can turn that item upside down do it from the bottom as well and you've got two carriage bolts from the back thank you for watching and we uh, will see you on the next one